We're at Newell High School visiting with their new boys basketball coach, Paul McLaughlin. Paul, thank you for taking time to join us here on Black Hills TV. Yep, thank you for having me on here. I appreciate it. Um, I'm new to the area. Uh, I was born and raised in Rapid, South Dakota, um, but I moved to Colorado the past year. I coached high school basketball down there, Centaurus High School. It's in Lafayette, Colorado. Um, I coached freshmen and sophomores down there, learned a lot down there. Um, I, I'm excited to bring the knowledge that they provided for me from there. I'm also bringing in from high school experience, and uh, I'm hoping to bring that to my boys this year. Paul, was you a basketball player yourself? I was, yep. I played for Rapsody Christian back in the day. I uh, graduated in 2016, so I had the great coach Kyle Courtney as my coach. Um, honored to know him. I'm taking a lot of his ideas, a lot of his game schemes that he gave it to us. There are Newell boys will show a lot of that this year, which I'm excited about. What do you have for numbers this year for the boys irrigators team? Right now, I have 11 guys showing up to open gyms. I'm hoping to get a little bit more. Uh, we're predominantly young. We have a returning senior this year, um, two juniors, a couple of sophomores, but predominantly we're a freshman team, which I like being able to start a basketball program. You get them young uh, to build a program around them and have my seniors and my upperclassmen be leaders for them on the floor. And I'm excited to see how that goes this year. Our senior, he's had experience, that's Jaden Tennis. Um, he's a very agile athlete, um, drives hard, has a good looking shot, uh, looking for him to be one of my top leaders. Another one's Colton Bertsloff. He's a junior, big body boy. He's gonna move bodies down low, get rebounds, get second effort shots up for me. Uh, another shooter for me is going to be Jameson Duncan. Uh, he's only a sophomore. He's young, but he's mature in the sport. Um, and I'm excited to see him grow as a sophomore and grow and treat him and treat him how to shoot the ball the right way and, and get him going. He's going to be a big leader for me in the future. Uh, Chase Johnston, he's a freshman, but he's going to be, you know, fighting for a point guard position right now. Uh, along with Devin Jones, I was fighting for a point guard position right now, so I have a battle out there. Um, both pretty good with the ball. Um, and, and in my new offense I'm going to bring, we're, we're flowing a lot, and so it's going to be beneficial to have both of them ready to go for me. And Coach, how about the schedule? When do you get started? Our first games against Hardin County at home, December 10th. Follow the next day, Bison, December 11th. Um, you know, Hardin County's returning some pretty good guys. We played them this summer. Uh, they have a good salty squad. The you know Little Moral Conference is a tough conference. They're going to be at the top of that this year, along with Timber Lake. Uh, for us, Bison is going to be a competitive game for us. I, I, I'm really looking forward to that game and to see how we're going to pan out in the Little Moral Conference. I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm just excited to get our boys on the court and get them going for the year. All right, Coach, good luck to the Irrigators this season, and uh, thanks for taking time to visit. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.